Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. We uh, need to get that vehicle over there. But things are not going to be easy. And sadly, I know this because I've done this part before. Yes, this episode is not going to be uh, blind, uh, I'm afraid. I had this recorded, uh, rendered, and everything was ready to be uploaded. Unfortunately, the uh, file got corrupted. And uh, since I've already deleted the source file, I, uh, <laughs> I had no choice but re-record it. So, uh, I'm sorry about that. But the uh, next episode which is going to be uh, 13. That one is blind, so everything should be restored. Let's see here if we can... Oh! Here we go! Oh, yeah. They are... Oh, crap! Let's take care of these guys first. Or not. Where are you? Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> that was expected. I'm not really sure how to approach this at all. Despite having done this before. Okay, let's do this. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, hello. Oh man. <sighs> Great. I really wish I could skip that animation, but Oh well. I really want to get rid of that, but I don't know how. Let's start with you guys. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? Uh. Flare, perhaps? Whoa! Oh, well, I thought the whole. There we go! Alright! Yeah! That's it? That's it? Ugh! That was a bit of a handful. Let's restock here as well. And okay. Vehicle. Be nice. Nice. We got a checkpoint. I have never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine.
coal mine wasn't far now. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Yeah, let's reach the coal mine and hopefully... Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Yeah, that's the uh, problem here. The insanity part. But we're almost there. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. I think I just drove past this. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM, folks. I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. I hope you're right. Thank you. Now we know that at least one person is leaving us. Let's go really fast. Hopefully not die here. Ugh. car don't really know what model it is but it really looks like the uh, general 70s American action movie car <laughs> with a big bonnet and huge engine engine my god I can talk Another one? Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Oh, well, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't 
disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work. I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone. Not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past. But I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night. And let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Well, that's understandable. And, uh... The whole part about the soulmate. I, uh... I believe that there are not one, but a few people out there that's considered the one, your soulmate. And uh, of course, one of the goals in life is to find that special someone. But it's a. Uh, that's not an easy topic. So instead, just let's just leave it and see what's inside here. Well, this isn't the coal mine, uh, but there may be goodies. Uh huh. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, he stopped walking. What are you... Okay, seriously? Ah. Manuscript. Well... This is also a... Uh, bit of a problem. Think it was this one? Vermont. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Hmm. Yeah didn't think about that. And again, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'll do a special reading thing as a bonus episode or something when I uh, go through all of the uh, available uh, manuscript pages. Perhaps even the ones you unlock uh, in nightmare mode. Of course I need to actually play through that part. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Yes. I guess this is the uh, mine part. I look at him first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. Any stuff? There's a page here. Ah. Okay, so we. I was reading the right part. With nice. Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window. Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason. 
and it's not for anything good. Yeah, something's weird with that FBI agent. Definitely. Mechanic corruption covers 32 minus loss of lives, yeah. I find it kind of interesting though that they decided to preserve this whole place due to the volcanic eruption and all the miners. I didn't want to go outside. The cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Jerked around by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him. Yes. How did you get to Mirror Peak? Of course you do. Whoa. Maybe closer than ever before. Good ease. That is that is nice. And there's our way out of here. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Manuscript. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Sounds, uh... Sounds like he found his soulmate. Uh, what? Oh, there's nothing. Ooh! Another revolver. Aren't there supposed to be... Oh yeah. Here we are. Oh, come on. Oh. This is not good. Oh sh All right. What? Let's restock. Take another breather. God. Ugh. What is going on? 
Holy crap, uh... <sighs> Man. Poof, that was tough. Yeah, the difficulty in this game is really... uneven. Maybe it's just me. That sucks. Oh, hi. Alright. Oh, yeah. I remember you. I was so confused when I got her first time. Don't really see anywhere you can go. <laughs> so I thought, wait, why do I even need to go down here? But of course, there's a reason. Oh my god. Get away. Oh. Yeah, as I said, there is a reason why we have to go down here, so let's not worry about that too much. What the hell? Uh That was huge. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Yes, so let's follow the light. And hope for the best. Let's see here. Oh! Oh my god! See if I can make the most use out of this car's headlights. Last time I didn't really bother, and I had a really tough time. Oh! There we go. Oh! Careful. Let's turn it around and... Jeez. Did I mention that I have a driving's license? I've had it for uh, 13 years? <laughs> Man, that was some sloppy driving. But we made it! Oh, flare gun, thank you. Okay, now we just need to uh, head back. Of course, that's not going to be too easy. Especially with oh, so many different things attacking us. And people, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, please run. Sorry. Reverse. <laughs> This is not gonna end well. The car. Okay, big guy, you first. Yeah. 
There we go. And... Hi! <laughs> that should be it. If not, then... Never mind. Okay. Didn't need the flare gun. This time. Uh... Nothing? Oh, there's something. Oh! Hello? Hmm. Yeah, of course, not gonna be alone. My god, you kidding me? I was trying to hit the barrels, but never... Oh, shh! Oh, that was too close. Yeah, for some reason these barrels are full of propane, I guess, and they aren't really easy to hit. Trust no one in the dark. No, that's... You don't need to remind me about that. Chair. Follow. Yes, I will. But first, some of the taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind, and so rather than taking him over completely. It merely touched him. Hmm. That's a relief, though, knowing that they're already dead. Yeah. yeah. That scared the crap out of me the first time. <laughs> Not this time, though. Sorry. <laughs> Batteries. Okay. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. No, that's kind of funny that they're even out here. It's good though. Wait, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way here. Go! I don't know if I... If there's a point in doing that, but... Did it anyways. And this, my friends, is the end of this episode. As I mentioned a couple of times, though, already, uh, the ne next episode is going to be blind, and uh, we will finish this p part, episode three. Jeez. Conflicting terminology here. Well, doesn't really matter. The main point is, the next episode is going to be blind, so join me then, and I will see you later.